So when you were getting your doctorate, you know, as a black woman, and you talked about how, you know, it was a, part of it was an age thing. Like you felt like you needed to like prove yourself. Do you feel like getting your doctorate as a black woman, um, like how did that feel? Because there's not a lot of us in this space. I think there's more now, like more people are, are pursuing it, but how did it feel when you were actually doing it? Oh, okay. So doing it, I was still in my twenties and I came mm -hmm. in like I knew everything. <laughs> Like, what are you going to tell me? Of course, yeah. I already had the chip on my shoulder about my mom, but sure. my professional life, I because I wasn't the normal, like, because I came in as a K-12 teacher, but I had all of these experiences, K-12, mm. high school, working mm -hmm. at the district. Like, I had more yeah. experiences than the average, even the best person. I'll just mm. chew my own horn, yeah. you know, in the position mm. that I was in. So I knew some stuff. So yeah. I came in with that knowledge and I was yeah. like I'll listen but <laughs> <laughs> right so, but I like, actually already know <laughs> and, and in a way I did and I was like dude you're not the, and plus I'm I already knew like I'm the black female I am like everyone said you're a triple threat which now I mm -hmm. do not like that phrase I'll get to that but I came in like oh I am yeah I'm the chief. yeah and I had some humbling experiences mm -hmm. one needed like okay chill out but the other was it was a it was like a hazing on purpose like I'm going to make yeah. sure I break you ah, because of interesting. Yeah. not trying to say okay I need you to tone it down just you mm -hmm. know until you build this up and then I'm still going to support you no I don't think my experience during my doc program was mm. like any other and I know that for a fact one because I taught all of my cohort mates in my, dis well, not in my mm -hmm. discipline, outside, I talked mm -hmm. to different universities, mm -hmm. and it was a, like, a true breaking, like, breaking my spirit. I have never mm. felt anything like that before, <laughs> and it was done on purpose. This wasn't the traditional, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't the traditional, like, you know, a lot of times they say, well, we're going to, you don't know anything. You don't trust your own, you know, the whole mm -hmm, thing, is mm -hmm. especially during research, you know, you got to look up all the stuff. This was a, oh, we know that she's smart. We know that she has these experiences and she's not willing to follow the rules. Mm -hmm. So what we're, what we're going to do is make sure we do the, the, the craziest things to make her quit. I was like, <laughs> I'm finishing in three years, no matter what, but it was a, like every time I tried to do something, it was a block. Here's here's how I know. My major professor dropped me as a student in the oh, middle wow. of my dissertation. <laughs> wow. You want to know why she dropped me? One, because I wouldn't follow her research because I got a mind of my own. I don't want right. to do that thing. Huh. And then two, because I told her, I, I went behind her back and found some other people that's going to help me. I said, this train is mm -hmm. moving no matter what. She went to the the dean of the college at the time. It was like, she cannot graduate unless she gets me, put me back as chair. So wow. that's not normal. No. And I had to finish the entire thing in three weeks, like from proposal mm -hmm. to defense. Oh, wow. Because yeah. she was, she wasn't helping me. So from, and like, if people know the process, that is not, no, you don't do a full research project and a proposal in six weeks to finish. And yeah. Yeah, so I knew that it was yeah, it was it was soul breaking and it took me a lot to re to recover um hmm, from that. The trauma. 